assalamu alaikum to the whole. After a long period of, period of time, I am present in front of you. You know that I have been teaching as a professor of physics for long, nearly 40 years. Now I am retired. But I am very much interested always in discussion of my subject sometimes. And as you are in front of me today, today I also like to have a short discussion of my subject for you. You know that far in the past thousands of years ago, people of deep philosophers like those who started thinking that matter, despite its appearance of being continuous, has a definite structure of microscopic level, which is beyond our least stars and sun, and this definite structure is called atom, which is responsible for most of the phenomena that occur in the nature of the universe. Thousands of years ago, people had the idea about the existence of atoms, but they had no idea at all about the structure of atoms. Discovery of the negative discharge body reacted by Thompson of England in 1896 provided the first look into the structure of atoms. Rutherford of New Zealand, student of Thompson and director of Cavendish Laboratory, discovered the positive discharge particle proton as a constituent of the nucleus in 1911 and he was given Nobel Prize for this discovery. And James Sewell, assistant of Rutherford in Cavendish Laboratory, discovered the discover an electrically neutral particle, neutron as a constituent of the nucleus in 1930 and for which he was given Nobel Prize in 1935. Atom has two structures, rectum structure and nuclear structure. I had had a short discussion about electron structure before, but today I am going to have a short discussion about nuclear structure, which is the central problem of modern physics and which is responsible for mass and for the whole power of the universe. Protons in the nucleus are like surges. They are tightly bound by some kind of force, which is called nuclear force in 1935. Japanese physicist Hideki Okawa mathematically discovered the Mason particle, whose, which is responsible for the nuclear force and whose mass, is, whose mass is nearly equal to 230 times the mass of the electron. And in 1947, 1947, British physicist C.F. Powell practically discovered this present particle. And Hideki Okawa received his Nobel Prize in 1949, and he's the first Japanese to do so. The element bismuth, whose atomic number is 83, is highest stable nucleus. But the element whose atomic number is more than 83, for example, polonium, radium, uranium, etc., they are not so stable. Their nucleus being large and number of protons being large, they are not stable. They decay in order to increase stability by decreasing size. Spontaneous emission of alpha beta is gamma is occurring from such big weight. These are called radioactive substances, and the phenomena radioactivity was discovered by Henry Becker of France in 1896. And the, and the uh, radio, no single phenomena has played so an important role as directly in the development of nuclear physics. Nuclear reaction. Nuclear reaction is not a like chemical reaction. Chemical reaction always the law of indestructibility of matter. And nuclear reaction not so. Nuclear, in, nuclear, in a nuclear reaction, mass is some mass is converted to energy. And the amount of energy is found by Einstein's famous law e is equal to mc square. Where e is the energy, m is the mass which is destructive into energy. C square is the square of the velocity, which is very, very large quantity. The mass being multiplied very large quantity, the mass being multiplied by very large quantity C square, the energy is very high in spite of the small amount of mass. It has been found that if one 
milligram of mass is converted in energy nuclear reaction. The energy is equivalent to um, burning of 2.6 ton coal and if one pound of uranium is converted into energy in the direction, the energy is equivalent to uh, 10,000 trinitrile toluene, which is very much explosive in There are two types of nuclear reaction, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Nuclear fission is when a nucleus is bombarded by some particle, it breaks up into two parts, and some mass is converted to energy. And nuclear fusion is used to make a bomb. Nuclear fusion occurs on the surface of the sun, where four hydrogen atoms are fused into a helium nucleus. Some mass is converted to energy, energy is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 12 joule. And it has been found that 10 to the power 38 helium nucleus nucleus are produced per second on the surface of the sun. So energy produced per second on the surface of the sun we can find as mm, uh, 10 to the power 38 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to 4 into 10 to the power 26 joule. But this energy for turn the phase is produced per second on the surface of the sun. Now you can calculate the amount of mass which is converted energy per second on the surface of the boat in Einstein's law is equal to 4 into 10 to the power 26 and into square of the velocity of light, c into 10 to the power 8 whole square, and by calculation we get m is equal to 4 into uh, 10 to the power 6 tons. 49 tons of mass of the sun is converted as per second to the surface of the sun. And so the temperature of the surface of the sun is very high, it is 10 to the power 8 degree centigrade. And this nuclear fusion occurs not only on the surface of the sun, it occurs on the surfaces of all the stars in the universe. So nuclear fusion can be called as the source of all power of the universe. Nuclear fusion can be used to make hydrogen bomb. And for this we need a temperature of uh, 10 to the power 7 degrees centigrade. And this necessary temperature is Temperature is obtained by the bus terminator bomb. So it is clear to us that to produce, to make hydrogen bomb, atom bomb is treated as a thick of mass. The time during which energy is produced and spent by the bus terminator bomb or hydrogen is very small, it will turn to the power minus 8 seconds. Within such a small time, the energy produces, produced cannot be spent for our use except bug destruction. But there is some device by which energy can be produced and spent in a controlled way. If it is so, it is called nuclear reactor. The first nuclear reactor was established in the city of America um, after six years of the bus terminal bomb in Japan in 1945. And there are, uh, now there are thousands of nuclear reactors in different countries of the world. And uh, today, here is the end of my lecture. No more today. Thank you, Assalamu alaikum to you all.